Welcome to module 2 of our Spring Boot uh, course. In this uh, specific lesson, we are going to talk about the Spring Boot starters. We are talking about a little bit about the Spring Boot starters, but this is going to be, uh, this lesson is more a target or it's going to focus more towards what are the starters and what kind of a benefits they are uh, bringing into the picture and how exactly they are doing all those different kind of a things for us. So it's kind of a getting into a little bit more details into the starters, right? I'm going to cover also a little bit um, about the different starters. Those are available out of the box as well as some third party starters. Okay. So let's see what we are going to cover uh, in this lesson. As I said, we are going to do a recap of what are starters, uh, like why do we are, why why should we be using those? That's a better question. Uh, we are going to look into a little bit of a details about how they works within the Spring Boot. So if you already have a basic idea about the how Mavens or a Gradle or any of those build uh, uh, system works, you will uh, very quickly going to get an idea how uh, those starters are working uh, together. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the what are the different benefits or the features they are bringing into the picture. Okay. And last but not the least, uh, we are going to look into the poem.xml file because that is the key to understand the working of the starters. Okay. So let's see what starters are. So starters are a part of your dependency management within the Spring Boot. Uh, remember, we talked about the dependency management, how Spring Boot make it easy for us uh, in terms of the dependency management. And if you're not working on to a, maybe a very simpler project, if you're working on to the enterprise projects, dependency management is a complicated or a complex task. You have to make, because when you're working on to the enterprise application, right, you may be working into hundred of different libraries, hundred of different APIs, uh, maybe number of different kind of uh, modules and making sure that all everything is working together when you uh, start joining the pieces you have to make sure that everything is working fine there is no conflict uh, the one library is not conflicting with the other one and this gets more complex once your application scope start increasing right so it's kind of a related on that one so starters are nothing but uh it, in, in short, starter contains your POM uh, uh, XML file, which is a way for the Maven to handle the dependency management, right? So starters are nothing but a POMs, uh, which contains a list of the dependencies uh, or the dependency descriptors that you can easily include your, in your application, right? So it seems to be a lot of statements, right? So what does that mean? Uh, if, if you remember, if you are already are going through the previous lessons, Remember, we said, okay, I need to create a web application. I will add a Spring Boot web starter. So web starter is nothing. It contains a pom.xml file, which says these are the different dependencies. These are the words and number which are required to make an application as a web application. It's that simple. All you have to do is include that starter and you are basically delegating uh, the rest of the work to the Spring Boot to, to find out what are the required dependencies, what should be the number and it should not be creating the conflict, right? That's enough about the theory or that's enough about uh, the different things about the Spring Boot uh, starters, right? Let's get into a little bit more details. Let's look into the pom.xml file for a better understanding. All right, so I already have a one sample application. You can always create your own sample application but let's get into the work okay let me to increase the size or the font size for a better visibility i think this is much better all right so these are the different starters right what we are doing is we are just including those starters in our pom.xml file and the rest of the things are being taken care of by the spring board i'm not going to reiterate it because we have looked into the multiple times okay but we are definitely going to look into a little bit more details about these starters, what exactly they are doing behind the scene. Okay. So let's see, this is the section which is saying that I am 
going to create or I'm going to add the web capabilities to this uh, Spring Hetios example application. Okay, so what I did is I just added this starter. Okay, let's look into the detail of this starter. So this starter is nothing but it contains another pom.xml file. Okay, and this pom.xml file has a dependencies, but these set of the dependencies are specific to make or enable the web module for a application. So you see, we have a Spring Boot starter JSON because uh, if you're not aware of uh, when you use, uh, when you're creating a web application using a Spring Boot, there is a JSON capabilities which are being automatically added to your application. So this is the starter which is going to add those capabilities. We will look into, uh, it, into it in a little uh, uh, later. So you see, we have added the Spring Boot starter Tomcat. Then there is a JSR 303 validation, which is a Hibernate validator, the default one is. And then we have added the Spring Boot. Now we are adding the specific dependencies, right? We are not adding a, a starters. So in short, if what we learn is that our pom.xml, we just include the starters or these different starters, right? And then these starters basically points to what are the different dependencies. For example, if we go to the JSON, this is the starter, right? It is just going to talk about the starters. Uh, for example, it has a dependency on the Spring Web. Then there's a data bind. If you already work, you already have a knowledge about the uh, Jackson capabilities, you know that these are the different dependencies, right? So that is how uh, the starters works or that is how the starters uh, uh, kind of that magic work behind the scene for example we have the tomcat right so all these different dependencies are being managed through the pom.xml and for example if i just want to introduce uh, i just want to add the jpa capabilities okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say spring boot and then there is already a starter for Spring Boot, my bad, Spring Boot. Added those things, right? Let's see what exactly the starters, uh, the JPS starters contain itself, okay? It, it needs AOP capabilities. It needs the JDBC capabilities, all right? It needs the transaction capabilities because now we are talking about the uh, the JPA part of it or the talking to our databases, right? Uh, we need the JAXB API, right? So these are the different dependencies. I just want to give an idea how does this overall works. So in short, you have your main pom.xml file, which contains the different dependencies or the starters which are required for your application. And when you include any of the different starters, those starters in itself contains the list of the dependencies which makes uh, your application or which adds the specific dependencies to your applications, right? So this takes away most of the complexities from your projects. You are no longer going to hunt down for the individual uh, dependencies, right? This is being taken care of uh, automatically for you by the Spring Boot. Now, next time when you are going to start your application, I highly recommend that refer to the spring documentation for all the available starters which are uh, out there see if those fit into your need before adding explicit dependencies to your project okay if you're wondering what are the different starters here is a completely i have stopped um, tracking it down because they keep on adding uh, these starters so initially it was i think close to 25 plus now it's it's ever going so i have stopped uh, tracking those down but yes this is, is your go to point just start search for a spring boot starters onto the github and you will get all the different uh, type of the starters which are being provided by the spring boot okay and most of these have uh, all the different details like what kind of uh, capabilities they provide and even if you if you are uh, not sure uh, what are the different things just refer to the Spring Boot documentation specific to the uh, the starters. So these are the different uh, starters and then they have a small description. I think that is more than sufficient for you to get an understanding. Now, uh, before we close this uh, lesson, just 
uh, there is a one uh, additional information I think you should be uh, keep in mind. The there are certain naming conventions when you want to uh, down the line when you want to create your own starters. We will be talking about those things. But even if you're looking into the different kind of uh, starters onto on on the Spring documentation or any of the external documentation, uh, the Spring Boot, this one, right, the starting Spring Boot, this is as naming convention that has been reserved for the spring boot so what does that mean is any of the start any of the starters which is being created by the spring boot team they always going to start with spring hyphen boot and then it is going to talk about the specific thing for example spring boot starter aop spring boot starter uh, artemis spring boot starter batch okay anything that start with the spring boot starter that is reserved for the spring boot for any of the third parties uh, starters, uh, probably uh, those will start with the name of your project or probably something else. Uh, so that is something you have to keep in your mind uh, while you are looking into the different dependencies and that will give you an idea whether that has been created by the Spring Boot team itself or it is being supported or created by the third parties. All right. So in this lesson, we talk about the Spring Boot starters and how exactly they are uh, helping into the uh, dependency management system. So I'm very sure that next time you are going to look into the any of the starters, you know what exactly they are bringing into your project. Uh, thank you.